Environmental activist group Greenpeace has projected a video onto the Spanish Senate in Madrid calling attention to climate change. The projection, which included messages like, now is the time to act, came as leaders and decision makers were meeting in the Spanish capital for United Nations climate talks. Greenpeace Southeast Asia Executive Director Yeb Sano said they projected the film onto the Senate building because they wanted the message to reach the highest levels of political power. We decided to put this at the Senate because uh, we, we, we believe in the, the political power who can make decisions uh, must listen to the people and we want them, uh, we want to send this strong signal that we are here to fight for climate justice and we want this to, to be heard at the highest levels of political power. People are already suffering right now. People are already facing the impact of the climate crisis through floods that are killing millions of people and destroying farms and homes. Therefore, I call upon the world leaders here to take climate action, to pay for the mess that they created, because Africa is the least emitter of carbon, but it is being the most affected by the climate crisis. Well, let's now talk more about uh, climate change and the COP25 conference. I have joining me at this time, Omobola Eko from the Urban Tree Revival Initiative. It's good to have you join us on TV News at 7. Thank you very much for having me. All right, the issue of climate change uh, taking center stage uh, the world over. What actually is the significance of all of these talks? Why is it important? Oh, okay. Um, the world now is facing a global challenge. And if we don't take um, urgent action, to address this situation, it might be a devastating one in the nearest um, decade. All right, and uh, just yesterday, Greta Thunberg, one of those uh, activists who've been out there uh, calling for action uh, about this, suggested that uh, uh, climate change science should be included in our school curriculum as a way of tackling this. Do you see a future in that? That's true, that's true, because um, the science we were taught in school is that um, Increasing carbon in the atmosphere is um, uh, is very uh, is dangerous to our, our health, as uh, and is dangerous to the whole and the entire environment. Now, if we go to school and this science that they have been they are teaching us is not being uh, taken seriously, now we need to now go back into our curriculum and include them in so that we can uh, tell our future generation, the students, that it is very important. It's very important that um, so that they can they can take more more action. They will, they can take more action that um, help help um, the climate. All right. Uh, okay. You are a member of the Urban Tree Revival Initiative, yes. and uh, so I'm looking at the Nigerian system and the fact that we actually need trees for a lot of things. We need to cut trees down to make furniture mm -hmm. and come up with other things. So how do we cope? when we have to leave the trees and let them be. Yes, there are other substitutes for trees now. Now people are venturing to uh, a less um, uh, important, uh, le no, it's actually important, bamboo. Okay. People are using bamboo for furniture, replacing um, um, f the timber right now. In bamboo is used in furniture, it's used for cuttings, it's used for other fiber products. So we can plant more bamboo, bamboo in our plantation to save uh, to save the timber right. yes but how sustainable yes is very sustainable in uh, in china now that's what the world is going is tending towards that um towards that area and mm. plastic uh, also is also uh, plastic and glass can be can be used to replace lots of all those things waste plastics mm. and all that all right. So they have been uh, called now to ensure that uh, significant result yes. are delivered at the end of the yes, COP25, so which ensure. is holding in yes. uh, Madrid. I must sincerely appreciate you for joining us at yes. this time. Omopolaiko from the Urban Tree Revival Initiative. Yes, thank you.